YouTube and welcome to another video. This time we've got a, uh, another blue box. Um, nothing special about it really, apart from the fact this is the first time I've been seeing this uh, logo on it. Uh, end plastic waste. With um, This product is made with recycled content as part of our ambition to end plastic waste. Um, so there we go. This is the Adidas GS or Grand Slam. Um, H O or H zero one eight one eight in a size ten and a half, and uh, here they are, and what a fantastic pair they are. Um, been looking forward to these coming out. They were um, I've been seeing them on Instagram for quite some time, um, but the actual release was a little bit um, strange actually. Uh, I've been checking out the Adidas website, and uh, I've been seeing some guys on uh, Instagram and Twitter getting these from places like uh, Offspring and um, Sneakers and stuff. Um, but I couldn't see them on the Adidas website at all. And I was hoping, obviously, they were going to be a general release, which they are. Um, but yeah, I couldn't see them on Adidas's website. And then I was um, on Adidas's website and checked out uh, the trainer collection in release order. And these turned out to be about on page three. So I don't actually know uh, how long these have been uh, released for, but um, I'm just pleased to say oh, I've, got, I've got a pair. Uh, I've been looking forward to these. Um, yeah, GS or Grand Slam. Now, the only thing I can think of, A, that um, the uh, GS or Grand Slam doesn't appear actually on the shoe itself, but the reason, and again, I'm just uh, assuming here that they can't actually use the words Grand Slam is that it might be owned by maybe the the copyright might be owned by the International Tennis Federation potentially, um, so they have to shorten it to uh, to GS, which is a bit strange really because obviously um, GS uh, certainly in Nike uh, terms is a um, grade school um, release, so uh, a little bit confusing. But um, there we go. So these are the um, the the, uh, the the GS or the Grand Slam from Adidas. Um, at some stage, I'd love to get somebody to put Grand Slam on there. Um, maybe Refreshed Kicks. Uh, Lee, if you're watching, yes, please. Sir. I know you're busy, but um, there we go. Um, really, really, really nice uh, trainer. Um, got the uh, suede bumper at the front. Uh, really nice midsole as well with the uh, heel pegs. I've changed these around a little bit. I think they came with all orange, but I've done like a bit of a, a traffic light system here. Um, and the sole, I have worn these a couple of times, is very, very similar again to the um, Forest Hills, but without the uh, the holes there. Um, one feature that I did see that was pretty unusual was the heel tab. The heel tab is oversailed by the uh, by the back of the shoe here. I mean, let me just um, show you a Samoa that I've got here. As you can see, the, uh, the heel tab uh, oversails the back. Whereas on the um, the Grand Slam, the heel tab is oversailed, which is uh, I I've just quickly looked at the rest of my shoes, and whilst some of the heel tabs are partially um, covered, I can't remember a heel tab that was uh, that was fully uh, covered up by the uh, by the back of the shoe. So um, yeah, a bit of a uh, bit of a bit of a quirk. Um, I don't know whether I got really really lucky with these, but the leather if you can see that the leather on these is just absolutely so soft it's almost like chamois leather um, and then you see it's starting to crease up really quite nicely which is good um, nice suede on the front silver um, stripes and silver uh, heel uh, tab as well again whether I really like to I like the silver yeah they're okay wish um, they were slightly uh, different maybe in Lendl um, colors would have been good three different colors of blue uh, nice uh, spongy um, insole as well and the tongue is really really nice quite unusual as well got a um, a mesh middle bit pretty much like the insoles of the forest hills if you know those and then we've got a, a, a leather surround and this leather again is just so soft and supple um, like, uh, like 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 chamois leather pretty much and obviously you've got the, um, the blue uh, added s trough oil there as well so yeah, all in all, a really, really, really nice release. Um, I don't know uh, how many pairs they've got left, um, but I would certainly uh, recommend getting these guys. And of course, we've got the fantastic um, perforated uh, toe boxes there as well. Anyway, we're almost at 500 subscribers, so um, please tell your friends. Um, just a note about that. Um, I've had one video that uh, was viewed 
over 14,000 times. I think it's possibly 15,000 times. And yet I've only got 450, 460, 470 subscribers. So if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, it would be really, really good. Oh, uh, just uh, one thing to mention here. You do get the um, uh, peg removal tool, which is good. Um, and just a note on those pegs, if I just lay them next to this Columbia uh, peg from the uh, Special release a um, year or so ago, as you can see, the Columbia um, pegs were a lot longer than the ones you get with these Grand Slams. Um, and as you can see, they actually poke out the side of the shoe quite a lot. So I was going to change them over for these um, uh, pegs that you get with the uh, with the Columbia Special. Obviously you get uh, red and white as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know uh, if I were to do that, how much more these would um, these would poke out, probably quite some way. Anyway, hope you liked the, uh, the video. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.